We're going to start off just by removing the faceplate that's currently here. It's generally just a flathead screwdriver. This guy comes off. And then what we typically have are two Phillips screws. So I'm just going to remove these guys. Okay. And then what you're going to do when you're holding this, if the power's on, make sure to hold it from these sides. Do not grip it from the sides like that because that's how you'll get shocked. We're going to pull this thing out. And you're going to make note how you've got white wires and black wires. So these black wires are your hot wires or your line wires. And so if you take a volt checker like this, you can tell that these are hot right now. And your white wires are not hot. And so on your GFCI outlet, you're going to note how they have these uh, little signs here trying to tell you which one's the line and which one's the white or neutral wire. Uh, you're going to make sure that you put your white wire where it tells you to put the white wire or the neutral wire. And you're going to take your hot wire, which is these black wires right here, and put them into these holes right there. And then finally, we also have a ground right here. So if you do have a ground, it'll be the bare copper wire right there. Um, sometimes they also have a green coating on them, um, but that's what is going to go onto this guy and we'll put this all back together and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna turn off the power right now. I'm gonna turn on the light on my phone so we can see what's going on here. Um, and then we can uh, get all this stuff back in. So the power is out now. We can double check this before we touch anything with our full checker again. We're seeing that it's only baking once. So I'm gonna go grab some wire cutters just like this. And I'm gonna cut these because if they're shoved in like this, you can't really get them out. We're just gonna strip them too. So take out the lights. There as well. Okay, to grab this guy. Beautiful. Got a ground screw right here. Sorry if you can't see, but it's as good as we can get right now. Again, our hot wires are going to go on the right just based on this label. So I'm going to take this guy and this guy. on the other side. It's looking good. I'm just going to shove all this back up in there. And before I turn this all back, I'm going to turn the power back on and we're going to see if this actually works. Okay, I've got a nice green light. And I'm going to shove one of these guys in here. Okay, you can see our light's working, which is great. Screwing this down. Face plates. Alrighty. And there you go. We've got our new GFCI outlet installed. It's up to code and we're good to go. So thanks all for watching.